Hello and welcome to the Johnny Danger Show. I'm Johnny Danger coming to you live from the Danger Zone. And today we have another episode of Watch Now, Watch Laters, where I go through my Watch Laters and watch them now. Simple concept. Simple concept enough. Anyway, who's it's, what's it's. Um, today we have uh, what's something that nobody tells you um, about self-healing. I nailed it. What's something that nobody told you about your self-healing journey? Um, which is a uh, part two of TikTok 2022 made from TikTok news. This trend was something that they do where it's like they, they say, uh, they say a statement where you can relate to, and then you give your own story in regards to it. Uh, I personally have done like the whole self healing and the, the self health stuff. So I have a lot of experience in this, and I um, after the first two, I kind of like I wanted to make a video out of this. So what's something that nobody told you about right when you begin your self healing and self loving journey? The anger, the rage that you're gonna feel before you actually are able to heal. That's for because sure. Because when you're on your spiritual awakening, not only do you realize stuff about yourself, but about other people. Mm. You're going to realize that people have gaslit you, have projected on you, have used your trauma against you. It's like Yeah, for sure. So yeah, gaslighting is something that like once you learn what it is, you realize how many people do it to you and how often people do it to you. And and you start to want to you get really upset about it because then you you realize who your fr real friends are and then you really in sometimes in some cases you kind of realize you didn't really have friends and it becomes a lonely road. Um, one thing for sure is when I did my self help journey, I started to lose friends because the things that were making me um, healthier were the thing. And that's the second person gets into it. So I'll, I'll let her talk about it. Um, the people who take advantage of you when you're one, when you're a, what's it called when you're tr trauma bonded to them like so say hypothetically you have a trauma where you're scared of large groups they might manipulate a situation where you're always in large groups when you're on them and where they so that they can control you it, it's it's a weird concept but like uh, hopefully when we get to the second video i can explain it more in detail like damn bitch ho mother you're gonna be mad as fuck. And that's another step that you have to work through is getting to the point where you have to realize that baby closure is not real. You have mm -hmm. to accept that those people did you wrong and get the fuck over it. Yeah. Nobody tells you about that. Yeah. Self love and- You real like you realize that these people did you did you bad and or did you dirty and then there's not then so gaslighters aren't going to matter like once you call somebody who was a scumbag out for being a scumbag, they're not just going to be like, yeah, you're right. You caught me. Usually they go into the delusion and then they, they go push it even further. And then they go, what are you, what are you talking about? So you're never going to get that closure. They're never going to go, I'm sorry. You're right. I did this to you. I'm so sorry. Can you ever forgive me? Uh, yes, I forgive you. Let's move on. Your spiritual awakening all seems like flowers and roses. No, bitch, you're going to be mad as fuck. And you're going to have to stop yourself from cussing a lot of motherfuckers out. What's something that nobody told you about? Yeah, because uh, uh, at the end of the day, you're you're going to look like the crazy one for 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 losing your temper at somebody who did you dirty. It's like um taking vengeance on somebody who 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 did harm to you. Nobody sees the things that they did to you. They only see the the things you did back. Uh, when you begin your self-healing and self-loving journey really hard pill to swallow and i hate that i have to be the one to tell you this but you are going to lose so many people yep i just but it's actually a gain that. what was that it's actually a gain when you are on the self-love journey as you should and you start to love yourself and you become a confident person the people in your life that benefited from you being insecure are going to get mad and they're probably going to leave or they're mm. going to be rude yeah. I noticed that when I was insecure. Because that's a, and that's a, that's a tactic in its in itself. So if you have confidence, the be, the best way to for somebody to to take advantage of you is to take your confidence away from you. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna be rude to you, which is gonna usually um, activate your trauma. Which my trauma is that you know I had parents who kind of put me down, um, and and that in itself is like it's it's like a re regression where you you go you, when somebody talks down to you or is rude to you. Um, you'll regress into your younger years and then be some more submissive. 
narcissists and and people who who take advantage of of that fact will do that to you and it's a strategy just to get them get you back into their manipulative state i tolerated so much shit from people like i just tolerated it i just took it you're like and as yeah. soon as i was like nah no, I'm you're good. not treating me like you're not treating me like yeah. that nah no, they good. were like Thank okay you. bye yeah. or they were rude to me about it yeah. or they're like you've changed uh, fuck you then. you're a different person now and yeah i am as i should like yeah, yeah that was the whole point yeah but this is good because i'm telling you when you are there's actually one person who who um I did all after I went through all my um self healing and all my uh, you know all my self help stuff where I started calling them out on on all the stuff you know all you know and he he the the stuff that he did was more playful so when I play, called him out on it he was like ah oh, Johnny you're not you're not gonna just let me get away with these aren't you anymore are you or and he didn't really say anymore but he says you're not gonna let me get away with that stuff anymore. He didn't say anymore, but you get what I'm trying to say. Um, and and I was, you know, and just to let him get away with it, I just, I, you know, I let him get away with some of them. But he even knew I was being insincere when I did it, and I, he could tell that I was a different person. There's, but that being said, there was only one person that allowed me to express myself in this new confident state without taking any of my 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 self-confidence away from me confident you will notice that you start to hang out with people who add value to your life love yourself i'll let you know when that happens <laughs> what's something that nobody told you about when you begin your self-healing and self-loving journey that i would mourn my own self i didn't fully mourn? even I like kinda, i understand that it's like there was a, a version of yourself like there's a version of me who i loved like he was happy he was playful he was energetic and wasn't as salty as I am now. Um, I miss him. Like he was such a he was such a great person. Like my my heart gets so sad. But yeah, it's you have to kind of just get over that because you're never gonna see that person again. Who I was, but to have this weird transition period of not feeling the same, going to the same yeah. bars, not feeling the same, hanging out with the same people, playing video games that you're just like, eh. not enjoying what i used to enjoy was weird mm -hmm. and having to deprogram and then build up a human who i've become today i wasn't expecting that it did feel like a part of me died but mm -hmm. i'm so happy because this new part of me was rebirthed what's something that nobody told you about when you begin your self-healing and self-loving journey the how long is the video that you used to find funny Ain't it's only 13 no minutes. More. I'm already 10 like, minutes in. Certain shows, movies, and shit. Oh, I can to, feel that. To laugh at, and it just used to be your favorite shit. You just gonna see so much toxicity in mm. it, so much gaslighting, and like uh, yeah, like I, I Big Bang Theory. I started rewatching it, or you know, people in the house started watching it, and I come in and they're watching it, and I was like staring at it with a dead face i mean there's still some jokes that are like pretty funny but there's other jokes where you're just like uh even like new shows that i watch like i was watching blackish and i'm like this this is toxic you i can't condone that like i get it it's a, it was supposed to be a joke but still manipulation to the point where you can't even enjoy the damn joke mm. especially shows from like the 90s 2000s mm. Mm. like i tried to watch mo show on netflix Moesha. And the wow. fat shaming and that shit was pissing yeah. me off. Like, yeah. Cam wasn't even that fucking big, and y'all talking about her like that. Like, what the fuck? What's something that nobody told you about when you begin your self healing and self loving journey? I'll go first. That when it starts, it feels like it's never gonna end. And then you go through this isolation period where you don't want to be around anyone because you just see how toxic everyone is. Mm. That it's not linear. You're gonna go through stuff and think you've healed and then you're gonna find the same trigger again and it's exhausting and it's okay to take breaks that you'll also go through a stage of despair and feel like giving up you might even start getting more triggered because you can just see like the first person really just said that is. that your family might look at you like you're crazy and that your relationships will change also you're gonna feel really lonely and without even realizing that you've got through a lot of it, you'll wake up one day and just feel this sense of inner peace. 
You'll be really? able to choose your response instead of react. Mm. That stable life is wonderful. What's something? Uh, I have not reached that point, but um, that being said, we're only four minutes into this, and we already got a 10-minute video, so I'm not going to put you to, through the rest. I thought it was a pretty interesting video, and I'd love to keep on going and talking about it. But let me know if you, there's a part two that you want me to watch. Anyways, like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. If you haven't watched, and as always, peace.